Hey, it's afternoon and it's nice and warm. I'm out here doing some restoration work um, on the axles and lathe right now. I work on the drill press, I work on the mill, and I work on the axles and lathe. I've got the tape attachment um, on my uh, cluttered workbench here, and I've got a stuck nut. So uh, I'm going to try to get it off without causing any damage to it. So when I get done, it'll be an invisible repair. That's what I try to do is make it look like I never got into it. So let's have a look at the problem and we'll try to get it solved. It might not uh, get solved uh, quickly, but uh, it'll get solved. Okay, let's look. Okay, turn the right knobs, get, get you over here, and we'll look right down at it. Okay, this is the uh, axles and taper attachment, and it's got this nut here that takes a pin spanner, like this. And <clears throat> these kind of tools... Um, this would be a good tool to uh, install the thing when it was new, but it's not so good of a tool uh, on its own to remove a nut like that after it's been there for 80 years. Now, the easy way a lot of people do it, if I can find it, it's just horrible. Well, I have a smaller one, but to take a punch and start smacking on these things and rolling them over. Now this is going to be visible on the lathe if you're using the taper attachment. And I don't like visible stuff looking, looking all beat up. So I put the pen spanner in there. Uh, <clears throat> use re reasonable pressure and it's not going to come loose. So um, I'm going to heat it up and I've got a little piece of beeswax here. This is pure beeswax, and it, I'm, I'm not going to use the beeswax cutting mix because it's got petroleum in it. And uh, that'll cause, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get this, nut, I'm going to heat the nut up, and actually like uh, anything with petroleum in it, it's going to be a hindrance to getting that loose. So I'll heat it up, try not to burn the house down. Let's see if I can get the torch going here. I'll oh, get a striker. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. Hold on. I'm gonna get another uh, little more uh, hose length to work with. That's not working. Huh? There we go. Okay, let's get this lit. See if I can uh, get this done. Oh, what a fairly gentle flame here. Just try to crack that open. There we go. Got a nice little gentle flame going there. And I'm going to heat this nut. Yeah, generally a little bit. Yeah, just generally heat it up. I'm starting to see a little oil bubble up from the thread. I don't know if you can see that. The oil's kind of coming up there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go across, uh, I think, this one. Okay, I'm going to get it down there and I'm going to heat uh, just a portion of this uh, red hot. Pretty much. Yeah. Just like that. Ah, get this little section kind of hot here. Okay. Real small flame here. Yeah. Ah, uh, be patient. Uh, a little bit there. Uh, 
even turn that up a little bit. That's more like it. Yeah, it's sweating oil everywhere. It'll expand more around these pin holes. Okay, I'm going to hit it with some beeswax. And I'm going to keep heating it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give that a try. A little more beeswax on there. Okay. Just going to tap on this a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to put the pin spanner in. And just see if we can crack it loose. It might not work. And then I have to go to plan B. Let's see if we can crack it loose a little bit without destroying this wrench. It did. Oh. That was not going to come loose without heat. Oh, yeah, look at that. No damage to that nut whatsoever. Aren't you all proud of me? Okay. Now I got, uh, got this thing off it here. And I'm going to clean that up. And I tell you, it's got that. Uh, that's like 111 trichloroethane right in there. It stinks. So get that cleaned up and get my hands washed up from handling it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take uh, this clamp loose here. All right. And everything goes fine. Like it should, right? Let's see what we got here. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh! Now that stinks. This is what I've been doing with this. I'm not kidding. That it will knock you down. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> All right. And hey, look at these hands. Uh, okay, that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought you might like to see um, how I remove a nut with heat and using beeswax. This stuff is magic stuff. It has a very high flash point, and it has, which means before it bursts in the flames on its own, it has a higher flash point than paraffin wax or any petroleum oils. Try it, you'll like it. Okay, but it takes heat. You see, I heated it up, the beeswax went in and uh, did its job. Oh, look at this. Oh, this really smells bad. See that uh, that uh, old tapping fluid doesn't really go away. It likes to get into places like this. And uh, so I'm going to clean this nasty stuff up and, uh, and, and I'll be back. Okay, bye.